it's going to build a tax-free bucket that you can end up taking out in retirement without having to worry about the income taxes blowing you into the next tax bracket. Hi, this is Jeff Marsacci, the Plain English Attorney, and I'm an author, certified Medicaid planner, and an attorney with more than 25 years of experience running my own firm. You're at the number one place to learn about not only estate and Medicaid planning, but to get business, fitness, and general life success stories. I want to help estate planners and the general public get the tools and advice they need to stay safe, plan ahead, and enjoy life. Hi, this is Jeff Marsacci, the Plain English Attorney, and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about finances, and in particular, kind of, I guess, tease the Gen X and Millennial Retirement System that we're going to turn into a video series pretty soon. All right, so I just want to make sure that we're highlighting things, and when I say Gen X and Millennial, I'm talking about the age bracket, because too often I end up seeing people who are in that Gen X and Millennial area get pushed into doing things one way or another when really there needs to be a mix. And the big problem that you can fix now is the overfunding of IRAs and 401ks with pre-tax dollars. All right, so let me talk just a little bit about what that overfunding is and what it looks like. And it's unfortunately something that the baby boomers and older generations are really starting to see a problem with. They've been told their whole life, oh, defer taxes, defer taxes, defer taxes. When you get into retirement, your income is gonna be so much lower so that the rates are gonna be lower. So go ahead, put that money in. The problem is people have been overfunding 401ks and then putting whatever they can into IRAs, the real savers are the ones who are having the problems now. So they end up in an area where the government's saying at 72, you gotta start pulling money out, and it's so much higher. Their tax brackets may be even higher than when they were actually working, and they've got these huge balances in these tax deferred accounts, and those income taxes are gonna have to get paid at some point. And if they pass on and their kids inherit it, they're inheriting a tax bomb that's got to get paid off within 10 years. So that becomes an issue. What can be done now? That's why we're talking about what can Gen X and Millennials do with retirement planning so they don't end up with those tax bombs. Okay, so there are really three big things that you need to keep in mind when we're talking about Gen X and Millennial Retirement Planning. The first one, look, this is a slam dunk. Go ahead and put money into that 401k as high as your company is matching it. It's free money. Take it. If your company's gonna match up to 4% of your contributions, but you can put up to 8% of your income in there, only do the four so that it matches. You don't want to overfund your 401k either because there are other better options. Okay, second thing or second level that you're going to look at is see if you're eligible to put money into a Roth IRA. In other words, you're paying the taxes up front, but that money's now going to grow tax-free and when you take it out it's also tax-free unfortunately you're kind of limited here to only about five or six thousand dollars a year depending on what your age is but it's going to build a tax-free bucket that you can end up taking out in retirement without having to worry about the income taxes blowing you into the next tax bracket Okay, and then the third thing that we're looking at here is after you've done those two things, now you really want to consider doing something like putting money 
into specific kinds of whole life insurance and other types of insurance where you have these really great borrowing provisions. So for your own retirement, what you're really doing is you're building up this kind of tax-free bucket where you can borrow against the death benefit and you're putting your post-tax dollars into it so that even if you're paying, say, oh, you're paying 4% to, quote, borrow your own money. Well, no, you're borrowing it against the death benefit. And at the same time, you're never paying it back. It just gets deducted from the life insurance when it pays out when you pass on. And believe me, 4% is a lot better than, say, you're looking at a tax bracket where suddenly, or it's, it's being proposed, 39.6% tax bracket if you're up in those high tax brackets pulling more money out of an IRA into that bracket that's just gonna end up killing you with taxes so those are really the three levels that we're looking at for Gen X and Millennials to be putting their money in so when it comes out during retirement they're not gonna get killed with taxes and at the same time it's gonna help fund a really good retirement for you so just three things to think about like I said, we're probably gonna be having a video series put together on this pretty soon. Uh, but for now, if you've got to the end of this video, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And as always, stay safe, plan ahead, and enjoy life. We hope you found that information useful and easy to understand. To keep getting this great information, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. To get even more information more quickly, Follow the links below to some of our free, no obligation programs.